Okay, I'm back. There are 23 species of crocodilians found around the world. The smallest crocodilian species is the Coover Dwarf Cayman, rarely growing over 5 feet in length. The largest crocodilian is the saltwater crocodile, growing to the lengths of 18 and 20 feet. They first appeared about 84 million years ago in the late Cretaceous period and the oldest living relatives of modern birds. Look at this. An alligator, crocodile, you can always tell the difference. Crocodile snouts are skinnier. Wow. That is cool. How the turtle got its shell. So much more than a mobile hole that provides protection. Is part of the turtle skeleton. Neat. Some more elephant skulls. There's an African bush elephant. That's his tooth. Baby African elephant. Those things are massive. Look, look at the tusk. Wow. And look, some scientists believe there are once hundreds of species of elephants. They evolved over 60 million years. Now there's only two species of elephants. The Asian and African elephant. And they live in two different continents. But they do have visible difference. The African elephant is larger than the two and has much larger ears. The Asian skull has more humps and the African has none. I can tell that. I can see that. Pretty cool. Black-footed ferret, mongooses, wolverine, small clawed otter, the sea otter, the smallest carnivore, the least weasel is the smallest of the order of carnivore. Look at that, Look at that little guy. Here's a skunk. Wow. Definitely want to come back here again. Here's the red panda. Northern elephant seal. Fur seal. Wow. The California sea lion. That real long one is a Hawaiian monk seal, I think. Yeah, Hawaiian monk seal. Polar bears are the world's largest mammalian land carnivore. Larger than lion, tigers, and brown bears. Male bears can get way up to 1,540 pounds. The only other approaching the size is the Kodiak subspecies of the brown bear. Unlike other bears, polar bears are strictly carnivores, feeding fish, seals, walruses, narwhals, and beluga whales. So that's a polar bear. There's a grizzly bear, Atlantic black bear, American black bear, giant panda, sloth bear, sun bear, spectacle bear. There's a Syrian brown bear it's standing up. Groundhog, 
Better not tell Bill Murray about him. Chinchilla. Capybara. They're the, they're the world's largest rodents, if I remember correctly. Here's an eastern chipmunk. A banner tail kangaroo rat. There's a North African porcupine. There's a cheetah. A serval. These are the different big cats. A lynx. A clouded leopard. And there's a domesticated cat. There's a jaguar. Oh, that's an African lion, the big one. So these definitely big cat section. There's a bobcat up there. Snow leopard up there. Malayan tiger. It's wearing here. The mountain lion. Oh, domesticated dogs. Ooh. It's a sad section. Golden Retriever. Pitbull. Oh, Doberman Pinscher right there. Cocker Spaniel. English Bulldog. Welsh Corgi. Chihuahua. German Shepherd, Dalmatian, Standard Poodle, there's a Basset Hound on top, a Great Dane, that big one right there, Boston Terrier, Labrador Retriever right there on top, the Shih Tzu, these are all dog ones. All domestic dogs are descendants of the wolf that originally kept and bred by humans to serve various purposes. Initially, dogs were bred for working, fighting, garden hunting. Societies advanced dogs were bred smaller to serve as pets. Domestication of dogs has led to many different characteristics of many different breeds. The American Kennel Club currently recognizes nearly 200 breeds of domestic dogs. Domestic dog skeletons are a striking example of the result of selected breeding. So, that's the dog section. I, I didn't point out every breed of them, but point out some. Well, these are like foxes and wolves. There's the main wolf, the red fox, coyote, there's the arctic fox, there's a lot of different kinds. Here's the gray wolf. The red wolf, which is near extinction. There's the bush dog. Hmm. Here's different kinds of bats. The bat section. Vampire bat. The hammerhead bat, the giant flying fox, many different kinds there. Platypus, one of the weirdest animals ever. I heard they're poisonous. Not sure that's true though. Um. Yeah, I showed this. I think I missed this section. Marsupials are pouch bearing mammals. There's the American opossum. Kangaroos, wallabies, and possums. Oh, 
Oh, look at these. These are giant birds. That's an ostrich. Look how big that thing is. There's the emu. There's a um, cassowary in back. There's a, um, a ree. Right, that one right there. Elephant bird. So there's some big birds and small birds. And here's a variety of different birds. The Harris hawk, the giant horned owl, the penguin falcon. This is one that you can interact with. White tank, uh, tank hornbill. Well, there's the one you see in the cereal. And here's different kinds of eggs. The American robin egg, the king parakeet egg, Indian parafowl egg, turkey vulture. Right. Uh, yeah, right there. The American kestrel, barn owl. This is cool. It's got different, not just different sizes, but look at all the different um, designs on them. Very interesting. This is really cool. The mallard duck, black swan, which I was always seeing him at Disney. That's the one on your paper. It's a raccoon. And then over here. Oh, yeah, this is there's some armadillos, a nine band armadillo, six band armadillo, southern lawn noose armadillo, giant anteater. I never knew there were so many um, species of armadillos. Here's a fossil of a giant armadillo. Yeah, it lived about 500,000 years ago. And there's one in night. Oh, that's the shell. Interesting. Here's a fossil of a giant, giant, uh, fossil giant's uh, ground sloth. Wow. This is probably going to be a two part video, people. My uh, YouTube um, viewers, subscribers, fans, whatever you want to say. Can't help it, there's just so much here. You could do that. I might have actually finally did everything. I'm gonna turn you off for a minute and keep looking. See you in a bit. We have to show some of these things that are up here if we're getting to look up. This is pretty cool. Look at all these. Yeah, and you gotta make sure you gotta look up, like uh, what people were just talking about, because you're gonna miss a lot of them on top. I think I went through pretty much most of it. I said this video is not gonna show this place justice. You really have to be here. Look at that. I think I pointed out. African bird egg. Look how big that thing is. But um, I'm going to come back. Now, it costs me now, if you get the brochure for this place, there's a $2 off coupon. So make sure you get that. It still cost me about $20 to come in here, to walk in here. But I think it was worth it. There's just so much here. Very interesting to look at. Learn a lot about science and animals. And you don't think much about the bones inside them. It's what keeps us moving, keeps us upright, keeps us together. Very important part of the body. Just gonna do one more quick walk through here. 
And you know what? I'm looking around and I'm still seeing skeletons that I missed. Nice and cool in here too. Which is pretty cool. Here's a little game kids could play. You know, one time when I come in here, when I have more time and I'm not filming, because when I'm filming, I don't take as much time looking at things, because if I did, it'd be, I'd be filming forever, like I said before. Just gonna do one more quick walkthrough. Of course, this is where I began. And of course, I'm gonna show the gift shop. That's where you enter. that big one right there in front and there's a huge um, whale skeleton in the gift shop for you to look at so I'm gonna definitely gonna show you that I go home as they close in a half an hour and I want to show you the gift shop but this is the place this is so cool I'm so happy I came here the bathrooms right over here and unfortunately it is time to go This is where you go for an exit. Alrighty. I definitely gotta come back. Wah, 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 I'm sad. Let me show you the gift shot quickly. Look at that cool stuff here, now look at these. I think those are all real critters. And various um, prices. Oh, this is $35.99. Red spider. Especially a really cool paperweight. Of course, keychains, necklaces, things like that. Yeah, that's a bat. But it's all real. Because they have the obligatory magnets, keychains. Of course, clothes, shirts, pants, books. I am going to um, be pretty quick with this. I really want to show you. Show you right over here. Look at that. That is a real skull. It's a sea whale. Look how huge that thing is. Imagine how much that thing weighs. And that's real. Wow. Let's have some cool dinosaur stuff for the kids and toys. information about that. Some science experiment stuff. You get how out of thing you get to find like a bone or an egg. Look at this thing. A lot of people's looked at that. I'm gonna put it right there, but I'm afraid that's gonna fall. A lot of toys and stuff. Here's some replicas and bones, and they sell some real bones too. The replicas here, like, that's $9.99. Let me show you the real bones. Of course, you can buy some rocks too. Looks like some feathers. Some cool hats. A wooden pencil thing. From the branch. Just gives you an idea. Show you where some of the real bones are. 
You can actually buy you can actually buy human bones. First time I did stop in the gift shop once and they had human bones. You can buy human bones. I um don't see any right now, but look here's some penal bones. Coyote, dog, badger. And of course electric No thanks. We do have some human skulls. That you could buy. Like I said they had more with regard to human bones. It was in one of these things here, but they no longer have it. So they must have sold out. No thanks, I don't want any human bones. That's a dog skull. This is like a mystery box you give every, I think like every month or something. You have different bones and everything. It's $24.99. Pretty cool, but it's not something I'm gonna really like to get into. Oh, some snakes and some jaws. Yeah, a lot of cool things. There's some bargain bones. She already forgot. Yeah, she's got a bragging bag. 50 bucks. Not too much of a bargain for an eye, I would think. Right, like, we know. Again. I don't know, if someone put a Turtle ring on shells. it, it's made of bone. Right? This is a gift shop. I know it went through kind of quick. Just to give you an idea of what they have. They do have a lot of cool stuff. Especially if you're interested in these things. A lot of um, butterflies and cases you can buy. I want to show you that big skull right up front. That's the entrance where you pay and go in right there. All right, finished with a tour of the museum and the gift shop. I wish I had more time. I could have stayed in there longer, but I'm tired. I've been, um, this is my second place today. I did a lot of vlogging and walking on, so I wasn't able to um, spend as much time mainly because of that. But it's a really cool place. All the employees that I interact with were super nice. And it's just so interesting, you know, and they have a really cool gift shop with a lot of cool stuff. But you gotta make sure I check it, check it out. And it's probably some other cool attractions, so if you want to do more than one thing when you're here, they have Madame Dussault's and Sea Life over there, and then they have the Orlando Eye. There's a whole bunch of shops and restaurants here, so make sure you check it out. Let me show you the front of this place one last time. Where education meets inspiration. That's a cool saying. Hey, hope you all enjoy this video. Um, it's probably gonna be a two-parter, so if you see this, more likely there'll be this. This part will be part of the second, then there'll be a, another part of the fir first one. Oh, sorry, I'm just tired, so I'm gonna stop talking because I'm gonna start not making really good sense. But cool place, and I'm definitely gonna come back. I loved it. It was interesting. They have a, oh, they have a new, um, website, skeletonmuseum.com. If you want more information about the place, check it out. When you're in Orlando, make sure you check it out. All right, thank you. Bye.